The lead generation space has completely changed over the last couple of years. You now have to become a master at the game, especially using the right tactics and the right platforms. And one of the most important lead gen platforms today is a social media site, LinkedIn. This is one, if not the best lead generation strategy of 2024. Let's dive into it. All right, so the first thing that we have to do before we can even get started with generating leads using LinkedIn is we have to spruce up our profile because chances are your profile is probably not at a place where people are going to take you seriously, especially if you're just getting started. So I want to show you how to spruce it up before you're able to start generating leads. So the first section we're going to work at here is the about section of your LinkedIn profile. So I just deleted mine to show you basically what you want to put in this section. So you want to craft a about section that answers these questions, who you are, who you help, problem or pain point that you solve for the people that you help. You can throw in an objection in there. It's really helpful if you can throw this in. I'll show you how to do that. Then you can throw in a time frame as well. The, you know, the, the problem or pain point that you solve in an amount of time if you have that available. Not everyone does, you know, not every niche you can say, I can help you do this in X, Y, Z time. But if you can, it's great if you can put that in there. And then a call to action or a CTA because you want to invoke them to do something after reading this. So something could be like, I help. That's introducing who you are. Um, so you, you, could, you could go into more detail, but normally that's enough for the, the who you are section. Like we don't really need to reiterate like I'm Paul James and I help because they already know who I am. They're on my LinkedIn profile. So I could say something like I help plumbers or let's say roofing contractors, the more specific you can get on this part too, the better results you will have. So I know that not everyone can do this and they can't niche down specifically into like roofing contractors because maybe they help all local business owners or something like that. But if you can, you will get better results and you may want to think about that as you're prospecting to maybe you come in here and you change this out depending on who you're prospecting to. So I'm going to be showing you in an email template later in this video. I don't want to get into it yet, but look for this coming up in a little bit, but you might want to spend some time like for a couple weeks prospecting to one particular person and then you swap it out your about section for the next niche that you jump into. And also I will have a link in the description of this video to a masterclass I'm holding on how to automate your lead generation a lot further. Okay. So with that being said, I help roofing contractors. So we've got these two checked. Now we need to come up with a problem or pain point that we solve. Now this is something you will have to research. I recommend you go into Reddit, go into different forums and, and find out, you know, what different groups like Facebook groups and stuff, find out what roofing contractors struggle with, because if you can identify this and you can help them solve this, you're going to definitely be able to get a lot more inquiries coming in if you really understand the market. So I could say something like I help roofing contractors generate more, um, get more re-roofs get more re-roof customers without having or without getting ghosted. So what I did there is I handled an objection right away. I know from working with roofers that a lot of times they get, they get people, the problem they want is they want more customers, more re-roof customers. And I know that a lot of times when they get people reaching out for a free estimate on a re-roof, sometimes they get ghosted. So I could help them with that by making sure that we have a good follow-up system in place to make sure that they're confirming the appointment with these people before my client actually goes out and gives the estimate or something like that. In the next 30 days is our time frame. If you need help with this, please shoot me a DM. So that's simple, right? And that solves all of this within a couple sentences. And that's all you really need to do here is spend some time on this section and you will see a lot of results. Make sure you add in your skills as well here. So add in digital marketing, entrepreneurship, Google analytics, Google ads, straightforward, simple, and you can go and add those in there. You can add up to five, but this is how you want to structure your about section. So, Take a screenshot of this or write it down so that you really can hone in on that and spend a little bit of time, just like I just did adding that in there. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to discard that because I, I don't want that on there right now. 
The other things that you wanna go through is you wanna make sure you have a good looking profile picture. I'm really just pointing out the most important things. You can go through and you can really hone in on your LinkedIn profile and really optimize it even further. But I really wanna highlight the most important things before we go into generating the leads. Because if you do not do this stuff, you will not generate a lot of leads. People will come to your profile and it's just not gonna look good. So have a good profile picture. It should be a headshot. It should be clear of your face. Like you don't wanna have something that looks unprofessional. You know, don't be wearing like sunglasses or, you know, like a baseball hat or something like that. Like make yourself look professional if that's the industry you're in. I mean, if you're in a different industry where you don't need to, that's fine. But you, you definitely wanna resonate with your audience, if that makes sense. So go fill all this stuff out, have your, your banner up there, all of that stuff. Um, if you have endorsements, that is good, recommendations. So you can see I've got endorsements on my skills. That's great, I have recommendations that have been. So that is the main things. If you do this, you will automatically see a lot better results than people who do not do this because your profile is not going to look good. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can start adding content um, to your LinkedIn as well. Um, LinkedIn has like a blogging section where you can upload blogs and different content. And you can add that stuff in as well because if you're putting out uh, thought leadership stuff, it does inherently make you look more like an expert on your niche. I personally don't think that this is super required, but it will spruce up your profile a little bit and you can easily use ChatGPT to help out with that. But that being said, I wanna get into the actual generating leads aspect of this. And the way to do that is number one, you can go into the search bar up here and you can start searching for groups that your niche is in. Like here I joined a group that is all about HVAC plumbing and electrical contractors. So I could go through here and I could start following people. And of course on LinkedIn, when you follow people or you, or you look at their profile, they can see that you looked at it, they'll come back, they'll look at your profile as well. And from that point, you know, they're going to, uh, they're going to see that you looked at it and look at your about section. That's why it's important to fill all that out. But you also can sign up for a premium account and use their messaging feature as well. And I wanna show you, if you wanna start generating leads with that feature, the best message that you can send to get awesome results with this. So this is the message that you wanna send. And you can also go and look for them on other platforms as well if you want. But obviously if you pay for the premium feature, you can leverage this right within LinkedIn. Um, but you could go look them up on Facebook or anywhere else too, and, and we do that a lot as well. But this is basically what you're gonna say. So you're gonna say, hi, Tim. I noticed you do X, Y, Z. So you'll swap this up for whatever you do. Right now I say freelance work, are, cause I'm looking for people who are freelancers and looking to get new clients. When I send this email up, are you able to take on some new clients? I'd love to run some ideas on you, uh, past you on a webinar that I think could really help you out with getting, with your client getting efforts. So you could say this different. You could say this on a call or whatever you wanna do. I normally try to get them onto a webinar because that's how I best facilitate the service that I offer and what I wanna do for them. But it, for you, it might be a Zoom call, it might be a phone call, however you wanna do it. Then you say, I'll drop the schedule here, just pick a time that works best, and then you're gonna to link to your calendar here. So you can easily go to like Calendly and set up a, a link there. You could go to um, highlevelpages.com. Highlevelpages.com is a software where they let you set up calendars as well. I talk about it a lot on this channel. Um, so any of those work fine. Then you just say, looking forward to it, and you sign off with your name. So this simple template is really, really powerful because it it gets them to basically, you know, whatever it is that you offer, if you wanna get them more clients, which is obviously what we do, um, pretty much works for anything. So I noticed you do roofing work. Are you able to take on some new clients? Boom, it's like the same thing, you're just swapping out some minor details. So this is the email template. Definitely take note of this, take a screenshot of it and put it to use. I wanna show you one other really powerful thing though uh, before we wrap up this video that I think you'll find really useful. And that is this special Google search string that I use as well to pull people in specific niches and cities. So the search string is here at the top. It's site and then you use the little semicolon linkedin.com forward slash. You're gonna do minus in title. Okay, and then you're gonna use this exactly. 
quotation mark profiles plus quotation mark dentist plus quotation mark Milwaukee. Now, these two things here are interchangeable, dentist and Milwaukee. So you're gonna swap this out for whatever niche you're going after. So if you're going after roofers, you would swap this out for roofing or roof, and then whatever city you wanna go after. And what this is gonna do is Google is going to return basically everyone in that niche to you, their LinkedIn profiles. And you can see this pages and pages and pages of results. So it's just another way that I use to filter through exactly the prospects that I'm looking for to then be able to go and view their profile. And if I want to do the messaging strategy, like if I want to pay for a month of premium, I'll do that and then I'll start prospecting and sending out these messages as well. But you don't have to do that. Just viewing their profile is a good way to actually get them you know, hooked in as well. But the messaging thing really speeds up the process to generate leads and actually get business and get that going. Now, when you do this search on Google, sometimes it'll pop up a little like security warning that says you're doing something weird. And that's just because Google wants to make sure you're not a robot because people don't actually search like this. This is something that only people who are really advanced know about, which is now you. So definitely take action on this and write that search phrase down. So these are the strategies you need to generate leads with LinkedIn right now today. By doing the things I outlined in this video, you can turn LinkedIn into a powerful client acquisition tool and generate more leads than you ever thought possible. And if you're looking to learn even more about lead gen, check out the powerful free workshop I have in the description of this video, and you can learn more about generating leads and automating the entire process. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. I am Paul James. Peace out.